Hi guys, welcome back to another video and to the last of the Tokai guitars that I had to show you and this is the UES78. So it's 335, you know, a 335 copy. It's not 339 in size, it's the larger one. So I'll go over some spec like I normally do and then I'll tell you what I think of the guitar because in fairness, I've never really been drawn to a semi-hollow guitar and I always thought the 335 would be sort of too big as well. So, you know, it's kind of I was interested to try this one out so spec wise obviously finished to start you have this translucent sort of cherry red I'll try and get the light to pick up the grain there as well because it looks really cool really classic looking I'll try and show you a close-up on the binding as well because it's really tidy fit and finish once again is, is spot on so yeah like I said it's a carved maple top and that's for the back and sides of maple as well and I'll just show you the back because that's got this sort of carve as well which really adds to the sort of acoustic resonance of the guitar it sounds quite nice just sat playing an amplified kind of thing really nice and then neck wise it's it sort of gets similar to the sg and les paul now so you still got the caramelized jatoba fretboard it's still the um, canadian maple neck as opposed to mahogany and the carve it's very similar in the way it's the depth and the sort of edges are to the sg and les paul except for with this it is a bit noticeably wider in the hand. So that's sort of hopefully gives you an idea of how it feels in your hand. And then we still got the real cow bone nut. I'll just show you the headstock there as well. And the tuners are these vintage style tuners we've seen on the SG and Les Paul as well. So like I said on the other Tokai videos, it's really hard to get detailed specs of the magnets and such of the electronics and the pickups. It's Tokai just seem to not put that out there. So. All I do know is that with every single one of these Tokai guitars I've tried, I have thoroughly enjoyed the pickups, except for the humbucker in the HSS S type Strat guitar. I wasn't keen on that one, but all the others have been like really inspiring to play, and that's the same here as well. It, it gives off the exact vibe that I have in my head of a semi hollow guitar. It's it just works, and intonation with this bridge as well. Um, is you can get it absolutely bang on and set it up really nice, which is, I think because I'm used to S, you know, strap type, Fender type guitars, I'm a bit more sensitive to how well you can get the intonation and stuff. I want it to be spot on so I can play chords higher up the neck and not get that sort of dissonant, if you know what I mean. And, and with this, it's absolutely perfect and it just makes you want to play it even more kind of thing. There isn't any um, coil splitting or phase switching, it's just your normal freeway and then volume and tone for each pickup. But, I mean, like I said, you know, I, I've never really been drawn to uh, semi-hollow guitars and especially I always thought a 335 would feel big. And I'm not a big guy, like I'm, I'm quite a small, short kind of person really, but I don't feel that this guitar feels big on me at all. I, I can sit down and play it. You know, I was playing it for an hour or so, really comfortably, no issues. I know stood up, it would feel really well balanced and it's quite light obviously as well. And I've just really enjoyed the guitar and it just, it was a nice way to finish off trying these because it's, it's the one I was probably least, well probably the SG was what I was least familiar with, but this is what I was kind of most curious about in terms of how I thought it would fit and feel. And it's, it's absolutely a great guitar. And, and once again, you know, you, you cannot go wrong with these Tokai guitars and I did say it halfway through this series I said it seems they do the Gibson stuff better than the Fender stuff and it might be a bit of a controversial thing to say that but I think actually after trying the Tellys, the Strats, the SG, Les Paul and this I would still stick with that opinion the the 335 SG and Les Paul I said before about my level of expectation these have all gone far above that level and and so I'm you know really happy with these guitars and if you do want to know more about it drop the page a message and as usual every guitar set up and everything before it goes out in the next part of the video i'll go for all the pickups and have a little mess around and you know let me know what you think of the guitar and, and thanks for watching the video thanks for subscribing this is the 40th video i've done already on this channel in this room which is mad but yeah thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.